What's going on guys, it's your boy Gmo from Hoop Journey. After yesterday's video, a lot of people were wondering exactly how this high schooler, Anthony Simmons, is skipping college to go straight to the NBA. A lot of people don't know exactly what the one and done rule consists of and how you can loophole around it. So today I'm here to break down exactly what to do and exactly how he's doing it to go straight to the NBA from high school. But before we jump into it, the Big East is suggesting that they take the one and done rule out so in the future it might not exist anymore and instead to replace it they're gonna do the two or none rule. Which meaning if you do decide to commit to a college you have to at least stay for two years. If not you just go straight to the NBA. A lot of teams are having trouble with this since a lot of kids come for one year. They basically changed the whole offense of the school and everything they had working on prior to them getting there and then they end up leaving which messes up their whole chemistry and messes up everything they have going on. So I feel like this is a good idea but to jump into the one and done rule that they have now in the loopholes you first have to be 19 years of age and you have to graduate high school. So a few players done this before like Brandon Jennings instead he went straight to pro. The difference between Anthony and Brandon Jennings or Terrence Ferguson, Emmanuel Moutier, is that those guys went overseas to play professional basketball for one year and then declare for the NBA draft. In order to declare for the NBA draft, they didn't go to prep school. They didn't get their fifth year like Anthony did because Anthony graduated his four year degree at a high school and then went one year of prep school to IMG Academy. This allows them to enter the NBA draft. Players that done this before, well, really just one, and his name is Thon Maker. He entered the NBA draft straight from high school. He did a fifth year in high school just like Anthony did. And he was 19 years of age. So this allowed him to go straight from high school to the NBA. But before Thon Maker did it, there was players that tried to do it or they at least were looking for interest in doing it was Andre Drummond. He explored this option before committing to UConn. But before I continue with the video, we just released our website. If you guys wanna go cop some Hoop Journey merch, it'll really help us out and it'll help us fund this upcoming AAU travel season. We're gonna be going to the Under Armour Association at Adidas Gauntlet, giving you guys the content you want. We're coming out with episodes. So if you guys wanna continue, help grow Hoop Journey, the movement, and wanna be part of the movement, Help us out, cop a hoodie, cop a shirt, use discount code YouTube20 to get 20% off your entire order. Go check us out. We got new designs coming, hoopjourney.com, and let's get back into the video. As I was reading comments from yesterday's video, a lot of people were saying, why is Anthony doing this to himself? Why is he declaring for the draft if he's not ready? Well, that's all opinion based. ESPN on their mock draft has him going as a first rounder somewhere in the mid to late area but i've seen him as high as seventh on mock drafts so where he's gonna fall all depends on how well he does on workouts his interviews etc and i'm gonna give you my opinion as always i feel that he's a great scorer he might not be as strong for the nba but his floater would definitely help him out he has one of the softest touches around the basket with his floater and he's extremely athletic he has a quick release on his jump shot he shoots at an efficient rate from anywhere around the basket to the three-point line to the deep three he's really an efficient scorer i feel that he is ready and he can score at the next level i just don't feel he's as strong but that's no problem with these NBA programs they have and the strength and conditioning that they do. So with an NBA program, I feel like he'll get strong enough and within a few years, he'll be able to run an NBA offense. But that about wraps it up for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Don't forget to like and don't forget to comment what your thoughts are on Anthony Simmons. Do you guys think that he's ready for the NBA draft? If not, let us know why you think that in the comments below. Peace.